time for another Music Monday. Da 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 da. Well, Music Monday on Tuesday. All right, just humor me for a second. Think of the last time you listened to a song on the radio. It probably had a good beat, something you could tap your toes or full out dance to. It probably even had a catchy melody and a quick rhythm. Okay, now think about the lyrics of that song. You did notice them, right? Did you listen to them? If the song you're thinking of was a pop song, it probably had something repetitive, maybe even excessively so. These are characteristics that are really common in pop music throughout decades, but today's pop music is of far worse quality than it used to be. Here's a quick history of pop music. So here we have in the 1940s and 1950s a gap of music. On one hand you had your adult music like Tim Pan Alley with Frank Sinatra, and on the other hand you had children's music like Disney. But there wasn't any teen music. Rock and roll filled this gap. Rock and roll was quickly able to go mainstream because of this gap. And of course with mainstream success that music becomes pop. A lot of the success of mainstream rock was due to dance crazes. This is something that we still see in pop music today. But what makes a pop song good? Well, to me, the main thing is the lyrics. In my opinion, good lyrics should contain literary devices, underlying meanings, and maybe even some social commentary. Good lyrics avoid cliches and have original ways of communicating thoughts and ideas. Lyrics used to be poetry in more ways than just rhyming at the end of a phrase. Now lyrics and pop music are just blatant yearnings for temporal things like drugs and sex and partying. So let's start with some good pop music. Bon Jovi, for example. He's not strictly pop, but is mainstream enough to be considered as such. rhythm and memorable but not overly repetitive lyrics. I would even argue that this song has some social commentary. It's obviously about a life that is hard to live, commenting on how often people in our society find themselves in such a destitute situation like these kids have. What's more important is that it points out a way to get through the hard times. Now let's look at Taylor Swift's recent number one hit, We Are Never Ever Ever Getting Back Together. Wow, that was a mouthful. Never say never. So he calls me up and he's like, I still love you. And I'm like, I'm just, I mean, this is exhausting, you know? Like, we're never getting back together. Like, ever. No! repetition is very prevalent in this song. The phrase, we are never getting back together, in various forms, is repeated 12 times in this song. The song does tell a story of a not-so-easy-to-get-rid-of boyfriend, but the only thing this song is trying to communicate is that we are never, ever, ever getting back together. Like, ever. Alright, let's do some more thinking. Did you ever really listen to the words of these songs before? I know what you're thinking now. Why do these lyrics even matter? All I really care about is the beat. That may be true to an extent, but if you really felt that way, you would listen to music without lyrics. If pop music was exclusively for dancing, there would be no need for lyrics. Maybe this lack of a need for lyrics is why they're so bad. But until lyrics are completely gone from pop music, I will argue for the need for quality. The next song comes from our beloved king of pop. Here's Michael Jackson's The Man in the this song means something, something real and applicable to life. It's a wonderful example of social commentary in pop music. Jackson makes observations about the problems of the world around him, then makes a commitment via metaphor to change himself for the better. The metaphor of the man in the mirror makes listeners think about who's in their mirror and how they can change themselves. The song simultaneously makes listeners realize the problems they're surrounded with and promotes change. Now let's listen to modern pop star Nicki Minaj sing Super Bass. He the whole song is basically a vulgar description of the kind of man Nicki Minaj wants to hook up with for the night. Sure, it uses plenty of rhyme, has a good beat, has lots of characteristics of pop music, but there is no room for interpretation. The meaning is blatantly obvious. And it's definitely not social commentary, because it is society. It's what society has become. It glorifies it and puts it into a context that people will remember, even if subconsciously. 
and eventually come to believe the values that they hear. Now you're thinking, if you think pop music is so bad, just don't listen to it, Shelby. Well, guess what? I don't listen to it. My issue is, however, that with the decline in quality of pop music, there is a decline in the quality of people in our society, and that is what worries me. If there were better, more meaningful, and clean lyrics in today's pop music, my faith in humanity might just be restored. So go do some more thinking about the kind of music you listen to, and don't forget to be awesome.